In this video I'm going to show you how to assemble the accordion album that is 4 inches by 5 inches that you'll find at the Silhouette online store and at LoriWhitlock.com in SVG format. You'll see in front of me all the pieces um, that are kind of decorative right here. These are all the pieces that you can use to embellish the pages once you're done. So I'm going to just set those aside for a little while. And then you'll notice that there's this half moon shape with a little binding area. Um, I went ahead and applied the two pieces to the cover of that that look like embellishment pieces. And then you'll also notice a larger, longer piece that is your album cover. And that has a spine area as well. And I've gone ahead and applied the um, pieces to this as well. Actually, I haven't applied this last one. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, now that you have your album cover embellished, the last step is to add the little um, flap and you're going to want to glue that on the inside of your album and you need to decide what is your back and what is your cover before you do that. So make if you've done different patterns and it, and it matters to you which is the cover, make sure you get this on the right flap. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. I've made all the pieces for this album where you can cut them out on 8.5 by 11 paper. That's why this flap has to be added separately because that's longer than 11 inches. So um, that forms your album cover. So now we're going to go ahead and set that aside for just a minute. And you'll notice in the file the last thing that you'll be cutting out is all of these long pages that are for our inside pages of the album. And one of them does not have glue tabs on the end, and the rest of them do. So what we're going to be doing, that'll be our back page. So what we're going to be doing is um, gluing these together, one after the other, so that we can form our accordion fold um, piece long enough to make an album. So I'm going to kind of line them up like this and glue them to their neighbor. So I'll go ahead and set these here. And we have five of them that have tabs. So let's go ahead and get those put together. Um, and the, the last thing, let's see. I want to make sure we get these going the right way as well. So let's take our album cover. And that would be, okay, this first page is going to adhere to the inside of the album cover. And then the page is going to come up. And um, this is where you'll attach the next page that glue flap and then that'll accordion fold down. So we just want to make sure we're getting this started right. So I'm going to glue that so that it's hidden inside of there. So let me put some adhesive on this strip and then we will line that up and glue these together. Make sure you're accurate with your lining up so that your album ends up being nice and straight when you're done. Okay, then I'll go ahead and fold that back. And again, we're gonna do the exact same thing. That comes down, this comes up, this will be folding back. So we'll attach this right here. Another page is on, and again we're going to be going this direction, and so we'll apply this, put this one on right here. Okay, then we have one more that has a glue tab. Okay, now the last page is going to 
get glued into the back of your cover. So this will be holding this direction and then the back it will be glued down. So let's go ahead and glue this last page on. And our last step will be to glue those first and last pages into the album cover. The nice thing about this album is it's similar to my small accordion fold mini album, but it gives you a much larger page size and more pages in your album. So if you're looking for a little bit bigger album, this is a great one. Carefully glue this down to my album cover, lining up the corners. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing in the front of the album. Actually, I think I'll go ahead and get my adhesive on the album this time. your whole album put together. You've got your flap and I'm going to add a little magnet right here so that it closes and this gives you several really fun pages to embellish and it's got plenty of space for you to add some nice embellishments to it. And I've included in the file, like I mentioned before, some shapes that fit these pages exactly right so you can embellish them as desired and there's no set rules. You can do it however you would like. So I hope you enjoy making this little album and that you find it useful. And I will talk to you next time. Have a great day.